and today we are making Christmas cookies. And not just any Christmas cookie, my great grandmother's Santarts. They are so good. <laughs> it's not Christmas without these Santarts. My grandmother just was so good at making these, and my mother wasn't, but my aunt is. And hopefully, my aunt did me well by teaching me how to roll these cookies out. They're so thin, and they just break and melt into your mouth. I can't wait to finish this video just so I can show you how wonderful they are. So you will have to wait to the end. And if you find value in this video, please give me a like and comment on my video on what is your favorite Christmas cookie. I know you can't just pick one, because I can. Because there's also my mom's ABC cookies that I'll be doing next week for you. But if I don't have that cookie every year, it's not Christmas. So let's get started, shall we? Since this recipe has been developed from generations ago, it's gonna be simple ingredients and ones that will be staple. So we're gonna be using a pound of butter, two cups of sugar, three eggs, and four cups of flour. So we're basically just gonna dump it all in. And in my Bosch mixer, I have the cookie paddles attachments already in. I'm gonna place my sugar in. Often butter, of course. And these are great to grease your cookie sheets with if you don't have parchment paper or your cast iron skillets. All right, we're gonna put the mixer lid on. I don't think it's necessary if the mixer is this large to put them in one at a time. But if you're using like a four quart mixer, it might be necessary. Then you want to add your flour. And you want to beat that until it forms a almost like a ball type. All right. But this though will be sticky, and that's why it needs to chill for at least eight hours or overnight is best. But if you're the type of person that just makes up cookie dough and leaves it in the refrigerator a couple days and say, "Oh, I got cookie batter," this is a recipe for you. Or if you just want to plan ahead for your cookie exchanges this season. Because it seems like most recipes want you to chill your dough at least a half hour or two hours. Okay, it's best to roll it up into discs that are flattened. So it's easy to roll out then. I highly recommend putting it in a Ziploc bag so there's less chance of air getting in there and drying it out. But this probably will last you at least a week in the refrigerator, if not longer. But I have frozen this dough for a couple of months and it worked out just fine. Okay, these cookies are paper thin. So my aunt taught me to use a tea towel and it should have ridges on it and be very thin itself. And use lots and lots of flour. You wanna go every direction. Large area to 
do this in. special guest today. Hello guys! And it's my niece Haley, who's 10 and is a fourth grader, even though I tried to argue with her and saying she was a third grader earlier. But my aunt shared this recipe with me on how to roll it thin, so I'm going to share it with my niece today. And if you ever make one of my recipes, feel free to tag me on Instagram. I would love to see what you do with my recipes. It just warms my heart and maybe it'll inspire this one to make the recipes too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You ready for the cookie? All right, so then? Then you get a basic cookie cutter. That's round. That's round. I think that gets it. And you wanna lay your cookies on parchment paper. And go pick them up by hand and get a spatula. And go very slowly. Because they're very, very delicate. Like you want to show them the next step? The, the next step is to get your egg whites. Hmm. And you sl you go over the whole cookie, but don't drench it. What happens if you drench it, Haley? It ruins it. Your cookie will be basically white on top, and it will look like you had a fried egg on it. Ask me how I know. <laughs> they don't have to all be perfect. Just edible. Then you want to put the cinnamon and sugar on? Yeah, we're going to put the cinnamon and and something else. Oh, sprinkles? Yes. I think we should just do one flavor at a time. Go. All right, into the oven. Ooh. Here you go. And I'm going to be making mini ones, but you're not going to see. She can take a picture and show you like what I saw. Okay, just do the same step, just small. Sounds good. Okay, so which one do you want to try first? I don't know. I know they're all good. This uh -huh. one looks delicious. I'm going to... That's the perfect cookie. A little brown. And the crisp, a little walnut. I'm gonna try this one. Mm -hmm. Just like rhyming aid? Yeah. All right, there we go. Our family recipe for sand tarts. And if you're not familiar with them, they're just a basic sugar cookie. Well, not basic, because there's a lot of detailed technical skills involved with this cookie. But it's Christmas when we get to taste this cookie, and we only do it once a year for that reason, that you just have to do it right. 
Well, thanks for stopping by the farmhouse today. And I wish you well and come back soon. Take care.